haven't already, um, I'll be showing off a few of my um, builds. Um, not only that, I'll be, you know, because I've just, I built this just now, and I just want to show it off because I think it's pretty cool. Um, I stripped down my old Red Rocket base, and I have now built a brand new, um, well, home, player home kind of thing. But I'm going to modify the outside and, um, and make it look more of an actual house than a, just a block, per se. So let's go on in. So first things first, you have the garage, which I don't really, I haven't really modified the inside yet. Um, but as you go in here, and like before, I, before I, I just want to mention before we go ahead, this isn't finished yet, so this is just the start. So um, as we go in here, this is my dining room, and uh, a nice long table um, for I don't know meetings all sorts really um, and uh, so you just sit down these chairs aren't really usable which you can use them but you just glitch through the table but um, you can sit in here and eat food and you know it's meant to be just a dinner table you go in here which I made my own doorways it's pretty cool my own door frames this is dog meat's room um, one of my companions um, German Shepherd awesome dog um, but this is his room. Uh, I'll leave. I'll shut the door on him. And this is my character's home play room, home room thing. I don't know, bedroom. Um, that's a bit glitched out, which I am going to try and fix that. Oh, I hate that protectron. As you go through here. This is the kitchen. It's another bedroom. So yeah, this is the start of my Red Rocket home. I am going to be finishing it. Um, it's not finished yet, but it's a work in progress, I suppose. Um, this woman, she's Hi, randomly here. I don't even know who she is. She's just some random person that's just spawned here. Um, most of you might know, most of you might not, that this used to be my um, my uh, my companion home, which means it was like a residence for companions only. Um, so that's why it's a bit confusing why she's there. Um, but now it's my home, one of my homes anyway. Um, oh, God, why oh, I'm glitched. There we go. Right, um, so now that's this place. Um, there is going to be, because uh, I've got the Colonial Redcoat mod, which gives you um, <coughs> British Grenadier soldiers. So I'm going to have Grenadiers on their posts here, guarding. And uh, I am going to be building like, um, kind of like a walkway kind of road system. Um, but it's not done yet. It's nearly there, but it's a work in progress. We go down here to Concord. Um, I've been sent to Concord to stop the raiders. Um, so when the raiders respawn, the grenadiers are there to take them out. Um, and also, it starts off with kind of like a light system that I've built down this bit. Um, I like the snow effect because it reminds me of a very northern America Canadian eco. So here we go. This is the General. outpost yeah. I've built. Okay. I've, they they just patrol up and down um, roadblocks. Um, as you go in here, this is like a, um, a residential kind of gun stash, ammo stash. Um, sitting area, watch out, lookouts up here. Um, so there's no really other way into this bit because it's all blocked off. Um, but they just guard. Uh, one of them's got a minigun. And then you've got an AR kind of yes. M16. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these are actually pretty good 
they're uh, they're minute men, but I call them my grenadiers. But they actually are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Hello, they man. last a while. Um, they can hold yeah. their own. Some people say the minute men are quite weak. I don't think so. I think it's what you make them. Really, you can make them stronger. You know, you can give them power armor. You can make them as strong as as Brotherhood of Steel. You know, Brotherhood of Steel aren't all that. To be honest, they've got power armor and they can they confiscate technology. You know. Anyone can do that. Anybody can take command of an army and kind of convert them into some, uh, you know, diehard um, brute that can kind of take over. Um, all the Minutemen need yes. really is a, huh? a good yeah. kick up the ass and point in the right direction, Hello. and then there'll be a good faction. <clears throat> Hi, how are As you, you can see, you they do sometimes yeah. the my robots do decide to come through, but to avoid the checkpoint, they kind of go around there, or they come through here. <laughs> I don't see the point in that, but you know. But there's all these lights around Concord, and it's also just to illuminate the place because when there's blizzards, it's hard to direct your way and see where you're going. So it's, I've done that on purpose to help the people get through um, what I wanted to do was put a massive workbench somewhere and I was gonna redo the whole of Concord um, but I thought that'd be a massive project and it'd just be pointless put a massive wall around it um, right, so. I'll take I'll go to next place I won't show you the drive-in because actually I will I will show you the drive-in it's not finished again it's another base that ain't finished or settlement that ain't finished I will be finishing it though um, just not yet Again, just another basic. Now, there's more to it around here. So again, it's not really perfect, but it does the job. So I've done Vault 88, which is not complete yet. Uh, Jamaica Plains, uh, the castle, Boston Airport isn't complete yet, really. Uh, there's a lot I need to do. I haven't done yet. I haven't even captured that one yet. Now this is one of my most um, spectacular settlements that I've built at the moment in this game. Um, it's pretty decent to be honest, I think anyway. It's built to look like a proper pre-war sanctuary kind of settlement. I think I've showed it before on my channel, but I'll just show you an updated version. And that's Spectacle Island, which is one of the best settlements, I think. Okay, so you start off here. Now, of course, you don't really um, you have to stand here and then get seen to go in. 
you don't just go in. Um, then you've got a waiting area when they confiscate your weapons. Toilet. Hang on, let me change this a minute. Just have light snow. Um, anyway, this is the front gate bit where there's lots of guards and lots of patrols. I haven't even seen it in the snow. That's a prison. So you come in here. It's not really meant to be a lovely place because it's a prison. Prisons aren't really a very nice place. Um, Get seen to here, and you get lobbed in a cell. Literally lobbed. And then you get like a due date to be killed. And I just realised there's so much water here. My pool, which looks absolutely bloody freezing. Homes, museum, You've got the institute, pre war, colonial, robots, animals, Voltec, soldiers, both, both sides, America and communist, Brotherhood of Steel talking to a paladin and is whatever t60 soldier and then you got some recruit you go for here garden takes you to another part of the, another building sleeping part there's residence there's three residents well there's quite a few residents actually but this residence a nice waterfall that it's like a water purifying system that I built I haven't been done yet, I need to finish that actually. And another building. Another residence. There's more down here. Uh, there's a beach over there. It was not the right time of year in this game to be really going to a beach, but you know. So it'll be covered in snow, which it is. No, it's not. Well, they're fighting off some mylar. Aiders kind of attacking them. Oh, I sent all my um, followers here. So my followers will be on Sanctuary, on Spectacle Island for the time being. Oh, it's cat. oh, and you got. You got Codsworth. Yeah, this is a pretty nice place to be, really. Um, it's one of the nicer settlements, one of the more settlements with more money and invested into it. Bar. So, uh, yeah. Mod load order. So it's kind of. Uh, might be because I'm streaming, actually. Using some of my CPU. Uh, this is a farm. Oh, look. Pretty. <laughs> it's a nice. Um, farm guard like yard thing which limits how much land this guy has um, it's just a basic farm really huh just saw some oh it's like a some leaves of just a farmer has a nice pond which I want to get a swimming fish mod so you can have a uh, fish in the pond pretty cool um, then you have the actual back part which basically has a residence which is there 
and then two shops. Gun, well, weapon shop, which is just a gun shop. Um, an ammo, weapons. It's got baskets down there. Buy a friend with a gun in it. Um, so yeah, this is pretty clever, and I, I think anyway you can buy the silver shroud, like a replica of the silver shroud uniform. Um, it's not yeah, going to be the real the whole deal, but you can buy a replica. That's how I see it anyway. Um, but uh, then you go next door and you've got a, a closed kind of shop which sells outfits and you've got a changing area. Um, again, just outfit shop sells models. Um, it's pretty cool. You've also got one standing in the window. Got the Nuka World outfit, that's probably just in. You got um, plants, another pond, public park kind of thing. Uh, and as you go around here, you've got the um, the mayor's office, with the mayor of this town. Again, another pond, but in here is the waiting room that sits there. And then you go on in. So this is the mayor's office. Pretty pretty office, I'm not gonna lie. And then as you go out here, you got my other house. Which is my my special place, which this starts with the lovely flowers. Um, because it's snowing obviously the flowers different colour. But it's very pretty. You go around here got a backyard, I mean a proper backyard, and then you've got the water fountains, the water features, and you've got a lookout, which is a beautiful view to see, um, then you go over here, go into here, you got my living area, my, my little room. As you can tell, this house is a lot smaller because it's only a temporary residence. As you go down here, oh yeah, you got my TV, I forgot about that. As you go down here, you got my basement, which I am going to be storing weapons down here. Maybe modified weapons. Um, or robots, I might make my robot station down here and create robots. Right. And as we go out, you can see the house is just like this, it's like a modern home looking thing. So it's not really meant to be flash, it's just meant to be a modern, nice little home. Sanctuary Island, uh, Spect Sanctuary Island, sorry, Spectacle Island kind of is cut off as because it makes this, everything stand out. Let's see if you didn't have light on, you can see it just stands out, it just looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you go down here, you got my D Day kind of World War II beach style thing I built um, where they would fire over there. Um, here is a bunker that goes down onto the beach. Um, I've done a lot of um, war kind of scenes where I've had gunners versus Minutemen, and that's been really fun because it's the, the, the place I have. Over there is my main settlement, and then you've got the spit here, which is pretty cool. It's a nice. Outlet. Two bunkers here. One is got no gun in it. The other one has. Hang on. What's that? Oh, it's, just, it's oh, it's. Oh. Wonder what the hell that was then. Uh. Then you come down here, and it's just the beach where I spawn the gunners, and there's a boat there. Um. Obviously, when you have mini battles, this gets very brutal, um, when, especially when there's snow, cold water, 
Uh, it gives off a real kind of D-Day theme. Um, and also the texture for the floor makes the water stand out. So, um, if you come down here, you can see it's really, really see-through look. You can see the bottom of the boat look. See? See? See the bottom of the boat. Which I think is really cool. Um, hang on a minute. What the hell? Oh, it's a rock. It's like, what the hell was underneath it? Um, so yeah. My gun's glitched out. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it hasn't. There we go. So yeah, that's Spectacle Island. Um, I don't know what the hell they're doing there. Oh, they're uh, the people that sit here, aren't they? In this like old cabin. I removed the cabin, so they're kind of just sat there or lived there, whichever way you want it. Um, this here is just the sun beds, and you got D in the wall there. <laughs> Joking. Nah, it's uh, <laughs> this a skeleton I can't really get rid of. Part of the texture, I think. Um, I've got um, nice little sitting area. Now, those of you are going to probably be wondering what mods I'm using. Um, I use mods on the Nexus and on the Bethnet, which I uh, I kind of mix vice versa. Really, I don't really have a particular like. I don't go diehard Bethnet or diehard. Um, Nexus, so I, ju I, ju I use both. Um, there's a water system under here which is made to look like um, a proper pumping kind of cliff edge stage kind of thing. I was going to make a base under here, but then I thought it would look good without. Um, leave, what you, leave a comment on what you think, whether you think it would look good with a base or without. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear these because it makes the place look messy. Waste cans, nuclear waste cans. Clear that with a mod. So back to the to the mods. Uh, you want to know what mods I'm using? Uh, I'm using um, a mixture of different mods. Um, now I don't know whether it would be easier if I went onto the um, desktop, and I might be able to. Uh, it's just loading. A moment, two seconds. Okay, so I use settlement objects expanded. I use snappy houses. That's on the Nexus. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave all these mods in the uh, description of this video, um, so you can go and explore them for yourself. Uh, Colonial army uniform. Um, I use, you didn't really see that one, but I use uh, Prime's Military, Vivid Weathers, All Seasons, um, Live Dismemberment, which um, makes it realistic and you can dismember people without without them dying, uh, uh, L Sting Bow, um, Holstered Weapons, um, that's where you make Raiders Surrender. Uh, uh, unlimited settlement budget, seasons winter, uh, ragdoll effect, which makes it look realistic, uh, it, radio 80s, which I didn't show, um, and I'm not going to play any of the 80s soundtrack or the Nexu radio because of copyright claims, um, spawn items, and Union Jack overhaul. Um, which is uh, it gives like it's a actually no it's a retexture isn't it uh, actually no it's an add-on yeah, it's an add-on um, they that that snap uh, creative clutter is just a, play, a, a mod pack which you can add creative clutter like all the, the the beds and the drinks on the tables and that snappy houses which make your own houses that you can't get in the, in the vanilla game but you can see them but you can't build them you can now build them with that. And then that's just the same as that, but just with the Institute and more other things. 
So there's my mods. I will leave them in the comments and uh, comments I think, description down below, so you can explore them all for yourself and check them out. Um, thanks for watching. Of course, subscribe if you are new. And uh, I'll catch you in the next stream.